we doing this morning? Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, and uh, so I thought I'd get one done here this morning. And this pattern I'm going to do has been a pattern that has been uh, very productive over the summertime for me in the still waters around the mountains of the Rocky Mountains here. It is called, uh, the pattern is it's called my Big Eye Damsel. And there's the version that's got the black eyes. And then I do another version with the chartreuse. Um, both patterns we've been fishing on a uh, sink tip line or a sinking line or a midge tip line and it's just been twitching it and it's just been tearing it up with uh, around when around when damsels are really active so here we go let's get started and in my uh, regal vise I am going to put a size 12 um, MFC 7077 <clears throat> zero extra long wet fly hook and I'll tie these in tens and twelves but uh, 12 seems to be the about the right size for us around here. So I've got my hook in the vise. So I'm going to lay down and start out uh, with some uh, ADOT dark olive thread from MFC. So I'm going to lay down a base of thread here in the front. Come in and clip our tag end. Yeah, we'll hook, straighten the hook out here a little bit. So the eyes on this fly are a product from Rainey's, and they're the black foam booby eyes in a mini. And so I'm going to grab one set of the eyes here. Uh, these are the black ones, and they're the minis. So I'm going to come back a couple eye lengths, and I'm going to take a couple loose wraps right around the center here. So we're going to then turn it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to X this in. Okay, so we'll get that X'd in. Now, you notice those eyes were wanting to spin a little bit. Because you can't really crank too hard with this thread or it will cut the foam eyes. So what I like to do... Is I'll turn it and then I'll take a super glue and I'm going to drop it right on the center of the thread there and then that's going to soak up into the uh, the thread and the foam and help hold everything so now I'm going to run my thread back to the point opposite the barb and the tail I'm using, it's a product called uh, Grizzly Bard Chickaboo. And so I'm going to grab a feather. Uh, got one feather here. So this is going to be our tail. I'm going to bunch it all together and I'm going to measure it. And I want the tail about the length of the shank length. Maybe just a little bit longer. So I'm going to get that tied in right on top. Check my length. That's a little on the long side. So I'm going to shorten it up just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to run this on up. To help build some evenness on the body here. So I'm going to clip that off right there. Anyway. Okay, so the rib I'm using is a ultra wire, extra small, in black. And I like to tie that over on the far side of the hook. And run it down the far side of the hook there. The reason I like to tie it on the far side of the hook is I like to counter rib the wire on this pattern. Okay, the body material is a product uh, from Simeon. It's called Magic Shrimp Foil. Its color is light olive and it's uh, fine strips. But their fine strips are still, I find, a little too wide. So I literally take their fine strips and cut them in half with a uh, Fisker rolling razor. 
and so that'll enable me to uh, and I cut them in half so it just thins them up a little bit so I'm going to run this back tie it in and then I'm going to run my thread back up behind the eyes and then I'm going to take the uh, shrimp foil and wrap it forward right up behind the eyes and then we'll tie it off there we'll clip that off now then we're going to wrap the wire and like I said I like to counter ribbit so I'm going to come underneath I'm going to come up over the top first and then I'm going to spiral wrap it forward and then what I have found to tie this stuff off when you counter rip is I'll come up through the eyes and around and that helps me bind them down without loosening up the rib wrap, the wraps on the fly okay cut that off or break that off now then we're just about done so I'm going to take a little bit of dubbing. Uh, the dubbing I'm using is from Simeon also. It's a it's an, uh, peacock dubbing, UV green, and it's called They're Fine. It's meant for smaller flies. And so I'm going to get a little bit of bunch of this. And I like this dubbing here to be spiky. And I'm going to dub a fairly good robust noodle here okay so now I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap or start it I'm going to go in between the eyes a couple times Make sure that that looks good. So then I'm going to come up and we're going to throw a quick whip finish. It's a little tricky to get your whip in there, but a little practice should get the hang of it. And then we'll go ahead and cut our thread. And we're almost done. Now the last step I like to do is we're going to take it and we're going to brush out the dubbing in between the eyes. On the top and bottom here. And have it sweep to the back here. And this gives you the, the resemblance of the legs on the damselfly. And there. And then the one last thing I'll do is I like to take a drop of head cement. Right on the eyes here, right on the head, thread head. And there we have it. The finished Big Eye Damsel. Oh, I hope you enjoyed.